going on, dads, and welcome to the Betwixt. It's episode 60, recorded on Monday, August 30th, 2021. I'm your host, John, here with special guest Nick Tendo, Nick Metzger. Yes! Game Pass News. And thank you for joining us tonight for some Nintendo and 20 minutes of 12 minutes. Welcome, Nick. Hello. Thank you for having me on. I am I'm really excited to talk about these uh, 12 minutes in this game. This game was crazy and uh, weird and I, I don't know, everything all wrapped up in one, it seems like. So we yeah, we were playing this furiously for just a few days. It's not a long game and we were so excited to talk about it. And then we sort of lost interest in talking about it. And then today we're like, let's talk about this. It's um, true. When you're in it, you're just like. Especially because we did it right at the beginning, right? So then you really can't say anything because you have no idea where nobody, anybody is. And so it's like, oh. but all you want to do is tell somebody about it. That's I it. know. There were so many, like, redacted comments going on. And yeah. it was like, Je we we're trying to get Jesse through it, you know, like trying to help yeah. him out. I didn't want to give away a lot. But I was like, just wanted to give him really good clues. Um, but, uh, yeah, so let's talk about this. If uh, Before we begin, um, this is a spoiler cast. We are going to be giving away all of the game. And if we do this right, Nick, we'll be giving away spoilers to each other. But that's fine. We're both yeah, done yeah. with the game. So uh, I'm curious to see anything that we didn't see. Um, if you are thinking about playing this game, I would just skip this podcast until after you've played it. But then come back and give us a give us a listen. For sure. um, if you are currently playing this game, you will also not want to listen to this. Um, so you've all been warned. Um so we'll quickly go through uh, kind of what this game is, just a, just a couple minutes to, to describe it if you haven't played it. Um, this game was uh, published by Annapurna Interactive. Um, Nick, do you know what other games Annapurna Interactive has done? I should. I know they're a story-based game, so I know this is right up their alley, but I, I can't name them off the top of my head. No, what else have they done? They did a little game called Sayonara Wild Hearts, Nick. Really? Yes. <laughs> I did not realize that was them. I, I absolutely always recognize Annapurna just from that. That and their Twitter handle is like really short. It's like underscore AI or something like that. It's really tiny. Um, but uh, this is developed by uh, uh, someone named Luis Antonio. I looked it up. This is their first game that they kind of made. Uh, they were as recently as 2017 merely a play tester for what remains of Edith Finch. I found that kind of amazing in the span of four years. Went from a play tester to creating a, a pretty critically lauded game that had a lot of people interested um, in four short years. So good for you, Louis Antonio. Yeah, for sure. Um, voice talents, James McAvoy, Daisy Ridley. That's Ray from Star Wars mm -hmm. and Willem Dafoe. Um so this game is a story based game. It takes place over 12 minutes. I believe they're real time minutes. I'm not yeah. sure. Um, there are times in the like game. It. Yeah, it, it feels like about right. Um, there are times in the game where you do time does advance. So I think it's probably real time. Um, and so basically what happens is this game opens up. You are coming off of an elevator. Um, you are going to walk into your apartment. There's a few things you can interact with. Uh, you get into your apartment and your wife is there and she says hello and, you know, we're going to have some dessert and we're going to, you know, best night ever. She says we've we've all heard best night ever a thousand times if you played this game and um, she's made some dessert. And uh, what generally happens in the first playthrough, I haven't tried doing anything crazy, is, um, you know, you set up the table for some dessert and she announces to you that she is pregnant and she does this by giving you um, a box with baby clothes in it. Um, so you're going to have a baby um, shortly thereafter. Um, someone knocks at the door. They claim that they're a cop. Uh, they come in and they accuse uh, your wife of murder. And eventually they will handcuff you and your wife. And I guess in the effort to get information, uh, he murders you. Strangles you right there. It's right there. And the game yep. is over. And that's the end of our podcast. No. <laughs> so what happens is there is a time loop. And then so the next thing you know, you sort of come to and you're back in the apartment just after the point where you close the door. You can't go back out again. And um, it's a time loop. The character um, and, of course, you, the player, are aware of what happened on the previous loop. So this is interesting. It, the character is not unaware. The character is very aware that they mm -hmm. are in a time loop. 
and they need to break out of this time loop. You have no other information about how to get out of this time loop or really what ending you're trying to do. Um, but clearly it has something to do with your wife being accused of murder and figuring out what the heck is going on. Um, and that's it. It's a series of time loops and you advance the story by uh, mostly by performing some actions, uh, finding out information, that sort of thing. So, Nick, mm-hmm. you mocked me for loving 12 minutes <laughs> from and the within, very beginning <laughs> within 24 hours. I think I found out when you were on the Nintendo Dads podcast, uh-huh. you you were apologetic and you <laughs> you had played this game and really loved sure. it. What got you to play it and what what kind of hooked you and what did you think? Well, actually, I, it's kind of you, to be honest, because, I mean, we were talking. I don't know if this debuted, but the first time I saw it was at the at Xbox E3 thing. And you and Jesse were like, oh, it looks so cool. And I was like, it looks lame. And I don't even know what it's talking about. I was like, <laughs> and you're like, well, that's the whole point. And I'm like, uh, OK, whatever. And so but you were just like all about it. And I was like, OK, fine. It's it's on Game Pass. I mean, why? why and I'm Game Pass news. It's literally your job. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. So I was like, all right, I will. I'll do this now. And uh, so, yeah, I just and I was hooked. I I I if you don't have if you don't play these kind of games very often, um, I don't know. Have you are you a big fan of Groundhog Day or do you ever? That's how I always like start. I was like, listen, do you you ever watch the movie Groundhog Day? Yes, I have. And so if you have, it's just kind of like that's how I start it, because it just feels exactly like that to me, like that, that movie. So, yeah. And and Bill Murray knows he's in a time loop. So that's like part of it. Yeah, uh, yeah just, you're right. This is the move. This is the game version of of Groundhog Day without Bill Murray in it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think the thing that, that really captures you in this game is that this cop does come in and kill you. And really quickly, I mean, within the first, I'd say, few minutes of the game. And that really hooks you to go like, hey, how can I not be killed? Like, yeah. it's just kind of this immediate problem you need to solve. If it was 12 minutes and you didn't get a good resolution, I mean, like, you know, you might you might fall off, but you're like, I want to at least hold this guy off. Yeah, and exactly. See. And I want to see if I can kill him. I'm not going to lie. I tried numerous ways to kill this man. <laughs> I mean, numerous ways, never successful, but numerous ways. Well, speaking of. So, yeah, your first challenge is to stop this cop from arresting. It doesn't seem like when he tries to arrest you that there's any way to stop him once he does. Uh, you can try to hit him. There is a knife on the counter. Um, I'm mm. sure you tried this too. Oh, you try yeah. to you grab the knife and you're like, okay, I'm going to stab this dude. Doesn't work. You try it. Maybe, maybe, okay, well, he's turned around and he's, you know, talking to my <laughs> wife. I'm going to do it. And it, there's no way to stab him, right? Yeah. No, I mean, you. I did stab him once, but then he shot me. And so, <laughs> and so yeah. there was one time, maybe more, a couple times where I got a stab in, but then I ended up, it ended up looping back because he shot me. So no, there's no way to win by like stabbing or, or killing him in that in that form yeah um how did you stumble upon how to stop him did you have trouble with it because i sure did i think i got i think i got super lucky you know and this is a game of like it just depends on what you think to try first and and how that you know how that works um i just think what did i do i pissed her off i think i pissed the wife off somehow by saying something stupid about about the baby and she was like and she was like I'm going to bed and she like she went to bed and then I didn't know what to do and I was actually looking I was just trying to figure out what because I knew he was coming and I ended up in the closet where you know <laughs> yes. is a great place to be and it was completely <laughs> accidental quite frankly and so I was like oh well this actually works out and he so no that part wasn't super hard but I did just like like stupid stumble on it to be honest <laughs> We uh, we got stuck on this for a while. So my wife and I played this entire game together, which was fun. Um, she came in and started playing it on a work day. Um, the the funny part about like, first of all, when you're in the closet, that totally turns the game into survival horror, because what happens oh, yeah. is this cop breaks the door open because you're in the closet, not not answering it. And he starts walking from room to room. And you can see through the little the little, um, you know, little brackets in the closet mm-hmm. door. And it's like a horror movie. You're like, don't come in the closet. And I like literally do the thing like, you know, when you play hide and seek with your friends and when they're nearby, what do you do? You close your eyes because that's how that's how you stay hidden. You close your eyes if I don't see you. And that's what I literally did that a couple of times while I was playing the game. I'm just like, don't come in, don't come in. And then he starts walking towards you. Um, Yeah. 
My wife came up with this because there's this moment uh, when she goes in the room. So I think it was like after you have the dessert or maybe if even if you don't have the dessert, she goes into the room to get the box in the drawer that has mm-hmm. the, the kids clothes for the surprise. And you hear it's like the, the door is closed and you hear her go, oh, honey, we've got to get that fixed. Right. Or yep. something like yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. And you don't even know what it is. Um, And my wife was really tuned into that. She's like, what's happening in there? Like, what's going on? And it wasn't until later that we tried the light switch and it sparks when you turn it on. Um, But there's a point where, like, she can die or you can actually I think you die or I I think. Yeah, yeah, you die. Um, And my and my wife goes, it's the second time they switch it on. And she goes, go in there and turn it on and turn it off. And I was like, it's not going to work. And like, keep in mind, we had been stuck for hours on this. And sure enough, you go in the room, you turn on the light, you turn it off. And then, like you said, get the wife in the room and hide in the closet, which is bizarre. Right. Like, like, like it's a strategy. Now, you said she went in the room. You pissed her off because there's all this talk you can do to her. Mm-hmm. You talk about the dad. Talk about this. Why did you lie? Um, I drugged her with sleeping pills. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I did that. I don't know if that's how it happened first. I can't remember, to be honest. It's we talked about this. It's ridiculous how bad my memory is. Like it was like a week ago. But, yeah, I can't remember which one I did first. But, um, yeah, the sleeping pills were great. I I, I had a ton of fun with I was like I was like, oh, we're doing this. Have you ever did you do it where she could see you? I got. Yeah, she'll she'll tell it like you can't do it out in the open. Yeah. Yeah. I got super lazy. I was like, listen, I don't want to shut this door no more. So I'm just going to do it. And she's like, "Uh, what are you doing? And then she won't drink it. (laughs) Oh, so so if you go in the bathroom and do it in the bathroom with the door open, she sees you. Not if you do it right. If you do it, if the bathroom door is closed, but you're right up against the closet, she won't. But like I had I had moved him and then I was like, I don't want to go back into the bathroom. So I just did it right there. And she was like, what are you yeah. doing? Yeah. Can't you sleep or something like that? And then you put it down and she won't drink it. Yes, <laughs> <I'm> exactly. Like... <laughs> yeah, that actually we had tried that earlier on. And like we, I didn't even pick up on the fact that I could do it in secret until later. Um, but yeah. I remember I remember so many loops when we started was going through the conversation about convincing her of the time loop. And so we, we would do that every time. Convince her of the time loop. Um, there's like multiple ways you can convince her. One of those is there's going to be lightning. And she's like, well, it's clear outside. And then lightning hits. And then the other one is I know what's in this box or whatever, which is. Whoa, whatever. the lightning one I never got. That's oh, cool. Oh, OK. Yeah. Like, if, yeah, you can basically tell her it's going to be lightning. I don't know what, of the other one besides those two. What else could you do? Um, I did the box and then the pocket watch. So I oh. showed her the box and she was pissed. And then I showed her that I knew where the pocket watch was. And then she started to believe me. So that's weird because you could have found that like at any time in the re- remaining years, unless you ex- explain what it was. Or, I don't I don't know. Yeah. So yeah. I was convinced the entire game. I was like, I know the pocket watch is somewhere in this apartment. It just makes sense. But I, I said to my wife, I go, there is no way that you can find it until you know about it. Like, it's just going to be some interaction. And then it wasn't until she told me it was in the vent in the bathroom. And that's when we went and saw it. And I actually didn't know if you could have accessed that early on. It's kind of tricky. It's right on the bottom of the screen. It's really tricky. Yeah, it is. But I, so that's not how I found it. How did you find it? I found it by when I walked into the when I walked into the apartment after a loop after I started when I initially walked in the apartment I hid in the hall before I hid into the closet before she even came out oh no way yeah and so she she came out and didn't know I was there and sat down and then time you know uh fast forward and this John I'm not gonna lie as a husband this is not the best way to do this okay like like I felt (laughs) like a real ass but um, the the guy comes in and really literally beats the shit out of her for a good long time <laughs> until and I'm like, I just want to go out and be like, like, there's just like part of me that has like put myself in this guy's shoes. You know, it's like if that's my wife, like, I just want to go out and be like, what? the? But anyways, I sat there and finally she she coughs it up and she gives out and she says it's oh, under the vent. And that, that's so that's amazing. how I learned where it was. That's incredible. I never thought to do it because, yeah, when you w- walk into the apartment There's a good like 10 seconds. She's in the bathroom Mm -hmm. and there's a good 10 seconds before she comes out of the bathroom. 
That's incredible. Oh, my God. I might have to reinstall this game just to see what that looks like. That is so cool. Yeah, it's, I did, I it's a little that. like, yeah, he beats the crap out of her for a while before she finally coughs up where it is. But so. he doesn't he doesn't ever kill her. He only kills you. Right. Or does he kill her? I, you know, to be honest, uh, there's so many paths. I don't think I waited long enough once I or I mean, I didn't wait to see if he would find me in the room <laughs> or in the closet. I, yeah. 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 I came the moment I was like, I was like, oh, yes, now I know where it is. I came out of the room and then obviously he killed me. And, and so then I started with that. I room. see. So that, yeah, you can grab it. Yeah, I never really knew that you could grab it before because we didn't know about it till we knew about it. So that's right. that's interesting. Um, OK, so so what happens is um, you get your wife into the it's really subtle. You have to get your wife in the bedroom. <laughs> you have to get your you have to get your wife into the bedroom with the light off. Um, well, I guess it might be different for you, but I would get her in the room. I flick the lights one time. I had the lights off. I would hide in the closet. The cop would come in. He checked the bathroom, the living room. Then he'd go into the bedroom and he'd be like, what the heck? And then he would go to flick the light switch on. Um, and then that's when he would get shocked. Then you come out of the closet, walk in. He's on the floor. And then you take he, he's got like a gun and some handcuffs on him and a knife and a phone. Mm -hmm. um, and this is to me, this is like the second half of the game. Now, once you've gotten to this point now, it's like, OK, now what do we do? Right. Um, generally, you can handcuff him if you don't. He'll find a way to get you. He can actually get you if he's handcuffed. That happened to me one oh, yeah. time. I handcuffed him and then I was like poking through his phone while I'm standing next to him. And while you're poking through the phone, time is still going. And he just like headbutted and killed me while I was trying to go through his phone. So the next time loop, I told my wife, I go, well, OK, so I, I handcuff him and then I just like shoot him in the head. <laughs> I told, and I told my wife, I go, look, I don't want to shoot the guy in the head. I'm sure that's not what we should be doing, but I really need the time to go through the phone. So I shoot him in the head. He's dead. And I'm like, cool. And I like just sit there and go through his phone like slowly. Um, and that's when you realize uh, your wife's phone is in the closet. Mm -hmm. It's in her purse, which is funny because she couldn't find it. And it's like it's in your purse. Like, yeah, I know that'd be a logical place. Um but when you see you go through text messages and you go through text messages with his daughter, Bumblebee. Right. Um, and once you see the message, you can actually call them on the phone. And once you've called someone, you can call them at any time, even on your wife's phone. Yeah. Um, I think I had like four people I could call. Right. It was Bumblebee, the emergency phone number, because that was the first number I called because I didn't know what to do. So I called 911. Um, I tried that. Yeah. Uh, emergency number. Uh, the health insurance company, if you look at his phone, he has some texts from his health insurance company. I missed that one. I'm not I missed that one. Totally. The that the fact that the health insurance company or the fact yeah, that you could the, call the health. No, insurance no, no. The insurance company. Um, I didn't see that. One. Yeah. And then was what it was helpful the, at all? Did so, it do any? You know, we yeah, we called the health insurance company because we want to see if we can get information on him. Uh -huh. They put you on hold and they play hold music and they say, <laughs> we'll be right with you shortly. I'm not going to lie, Nick. We spent one loop. We walked in, uh, drugged the wife, called the the insurance company and sat there for 10 minutes on hold. And they never talked to you. <laughs> All right. It sounds like it's real world. Good. Okay. Yeah. I think that's just like a gag. And there's there's a lot of like dead ends in this game, because yeah. what's amazing about it is. Like I've played games, I think I, I think I mentioned this last week, but I've played games like Life is Strange where there's lots of different like things you can do differently. But for the most part, things don't get too deep. You can do something differently. You get an immediate reaction, whatever. But it doesn't really affect too much of the game. There's very little of it in this game. There's so much stuff that you can change in the course of the game yeah. because it's only 12 minutes long. Um, so, yeah, you could just do things like you can kill a character, or whatever. I killed my wife in one I of them, too. Yeah, I felt really bad. But I thought I was stuck at one point and I was like, I don't know, maybe this will make a difference. I love it. Did he say did he tell you? Oh, well, there's no way coming back from this. Yeah, when, yeah. <laughs> he, he expressed regret before. Yeah. And, and we had, I had to try it twice. Like the first time he's like, I really shouldn't. And then you say, yeah kill the wife and he's like okay <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> um yeah there's so many cool little things you can do i'm still blown away by the fact you can hide in the closet and do nothing 
Um, yeah, see, and it, that's that's what makes this game so cool, though, because I did not find the stopwatch the way or the pocket watch the way you did. Like, I, yeah. she never told me I, I, could, I never got her to do it that way. So I just went and found it on my own. That's and cool. I opened up all those stupid vents except for the one because that one you're right. That one's so well hidden. Yeah. And you can put a, you can put like the uh, candles in there. Um, it li- It'll light up the vent. Uh, it doesn't oh. do anything. You can put the gun in there. There's a bunch of things you can put in there and none of it that I saw actually led to anything, but there's like, yeah, like, like just the fact that they would take the time to animate putting a candle in a vent yeah. shows you that they, they, it's not one of those, like those classic point and click games where um, if there's something that you shouldn't be doing, they just say, well, you can't do it. They actually right. let you do it. And it just leads to nowhere. And you just have to realize, ah, it's not a giveaway that this right. is what you need to do. It's just, it could be off putting. So anyway, Basically, what happens is you knock out the cop. Um, you don't kill him, <laughs> but uh, you knock out the cop, and then eventually you talk to the cop. And at this point, you are trying to convince the cop that your wife is innocent. Um, you start finding out that um, her father had died of a heart attack, and but he's saying that he was killed. And this cop is a friend of the father. Um, and you kind of do a couple loops, getting more information, talking to your wife about what happened and you come to find out that she actually did shoot the father. Um, I can't remember exactly how you get her to confess to this sort of thing, um, but that she did shoot the father um, and he died. But you realize that the cop that the father didn't die when she shot him. What happened was, and this is really weird. I'm hoping you can explain this to me. She shot him and he didn't die for about a week. And then a week later, someone killed him. And she didn't know that he was still alive in that time period. And she said she shot him because he was a pretty strict dad and she wanted to go out or something like that. Yeah. Um, he was kind of abusive. And then and he had actually knocked up their nanny. And that kind of split up the family a lot. Uh, the nanny had a baby and the father wanted to adopt it and the wife didn't want any part of it. Um, and then I think she died. The, the woman died. The, her mom dies, uh, I think, drugs and alcohol before um, she ends up shooting the dad. Yeah, that's uh, how I that's how I got it. So that's the story. And um, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I think I think this part of the game is probably the same for everyone. We had gotten stuck for the longest time. We knew the information. We had a really good idea what was going on, but I couldn't advance the story. I couldn't get the cop to just lay off. Mm-hmm. until I showed him the picture from right. the fridge. Right. Yeah. That was the key. Did you, speaking of the cop, though, did you shoot the cop anywhere else? You could shoot him in the leg, the arm. I think he doesn't yeah, did die. did you do any of those? Yeah. I did, did that. Shoot? Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, I was going to say, because, man, I shot him multiple times in, in, like, leg and arm just to get him to leave me alone so I could talk. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. <laughs> yeah, I shot him in the leg because I thought I could, like, just get him from standing up. I don't right. even think that stops him. But if you shoot him a second time, he dies. It's just, yeah, it was really hard to convince him. But the, so the picture on the, the refrigerator is of your wife on New Year's Eve, I think it is. Yes. Yeah. And that's when the father was killed. And I can't I don't remember the, the geography of this, but apparently where she's located is way far away from where the father was killed. So it basically is like an hour away or something like that or, just or like, an hour? yeah, but it can't be. No, that can't be right, because that would be and that wouldn't make yeah. sense. Anyways. Got to be more. He believes yeah. it, even though it's like, I don't know. How does he know this picture is from that particular <laughs> Right, day? right. <laughs> Photoshop um, didn't exist. In exactly. That, in that realm. <laughs> yeah. So he believes it. And then I think like at this point, I had an idea that, oh, you know, the wife is innocent. Um, and I think it was like there's more to the story. It actually gets crazier. Um, but anywhere up to this point, like. Did anything happen that you found like particularly interesting or I mean, like at what point do you know that that, that what this story is going to be? But now you got to kind of figure out how to get an ending. Yeah, I mean, I think I think when the cop I think you're right. Once the cop starts talking to you, you got you got at least it. You got at least 80 percent of the story. There's there's still, I think, some twists at the end that you're like, oh, well, I didn't see that coming. Yeah. Um, But you at least got a good idea of what's happening. Um, this was about the time where I got like my first ending that didn't involve someone dying or something. Uh, I got that. I got the coward. This is when you, you I, this has just happened after you DM'd me on discord. And it was like, I was like, yeah, I got this. I got the shitty ending. You don't want this one. I felt like an ass. 
<laughs> so um so that's where i got the cow that was about where i got the coward's achievement was right now it, that isn't the coward's achievement when you give up the wife right you like basically yeah. say she did it and you let him go isn't that well, what but it it's is? worse than that because like he's like listen i i i couldn't find a way around it i he asked me for the pocket watch i told him i wouldn't give it to him he shot me so finally i was like okay fine i know where it is here it is and so he takes it and he's like um and i'm like i had nothing to do with this and he's like well, then go sit on the couch. <laughs> and I'm like, no, I don't really want to do this. What are you? So I go sit on the couch. He, he shuts the door. You hear the gunshot. He walks out. He throws the gun on the ground and he's like, call 911. And you call 911 and your only options, if you don't choose my wife committed suicide, he shoots you. And so, but if you commit, if you say your wife committed suicide, he's like, now everybody, now everything's been atoned for. And he walks out the door. Oh, and there, wow. And there you are. You you just let your wife get killed, said she killed herself, and the guy that did it walked away. And I'm like, wow. Well, I feel like I need to go take a shower now. Great. <laughs> you horrible. Does it? What what kind of ending is it? Like, do you do you time loop again, or does it? You just does it roll credits? No, it doesn't roll credits. No, no, no. It's not. Oh, it's okay. definitely not. It that tells you it's not the ending because it but, just yeah, it flips you right back. And I think he says something quirky too, like, well, I feel horrible or something like that when he <laughs> when he start the loop. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Every time the time loop hits, he says something. It's I don't think it's ever it's never a hint or anything. But, yeah, like it's a reaction to what just mm -hmm. happened. You got an achievement for that one, though, right? Yeah, that was you okay. can get a coward's achievement. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> it took us hours and we had zero achievements. And then I think you said you had three. And I was like, I was like, what? Like how we've been playing this game forever. And when you play an Xbox game, you get achievements pretty consistently. Like this game is really frugal with them. Um, the first one I got, John, was really quick. And I think it's because I like farming games. I walked in and I was like, no, I need to water in this stupid plant. So I got water and I watered the plant. That was legit. I got that in like 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and it got an achievement for like a gardening achievement or a water or, a, or like a green thumb achievement or something like that. Oh, for, man, that is so cool. For yeah, the, the plant. The, there is a plant in the bedroom that is pretty dead. I noticed it for hours and never thought to water it. And then I watered it. And then the next time loop, it actually like looks greener. Yeah. Yep. Which is really cool. Um, but I, I, I don't think I ever got an achievement for I would try to water it every time loop, but I didn't water it a lot in a game and in one loop. Mm -hmm. um, there's also the paintings on the walls. Uh, my wife was fascinated with the paintings. Um, they actually change based on I don't know what. Um, mm, I, didn't I don't know if it's this. like a. Yeah. So I don't know if it's particularly what's happening in the loop or what you've found so far. But there is a painting in the bedroom of. Have you did you look at any of the paintings? Yes, I looked at the okay. paintings one loop and it didn't seem to really give me anything. So I never thought to like look again yeah. as as i progress the story they they change uh one is of him and his wife on the like on a on a patio or like uh you know like up on a, a loft uh -huh. and there's times when you see him and the wife you see him and the wife upset uh, him alone um it's kind of cool there is mm. a painting of trees above the couch or near the couch above the couch yeah. and it's like two big trees and a little tree so it represents them and the baby Oh, and sometimes okay. the little tree's not there. Sometimes they're withered. Sometimes they're alive. Um, there's also an egg, too, that has various states. Um, so it is kind of cool to keep tabs on them. None of them give you hints. It's just more of a status. Oh, um, that's so really cool. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll wrap up this story for anybody who's dying to know the ending. But basically, um, she did shoot the – she shot the father. Um, what happened was the child – the bastard child of um, the the father and the nanny um, ends up killing the father. Um, yes, ends yeah. up killing the father. And then we come to find out through various conversations um, with the uh, the intruder, the guy we call him the cop because he says he's a cop, but he's not a cop um, in that we're talking to him and he they were trying to ask him who, what the name of the nanny was. And he says it's like a flower name. And then you sort of connect the fact that the baby clothes, the name on the shirt is Dahlia. And as it turns out, the reason why Dahlia is on the shirt is because that's your mom's name. And it turns out you are the bastard child of the nanny and her father. And you killed her father. Now, <laughs> that is quite a twist ending. But I have to ask you, Nick. What the fuck? 
Like, so you killed the father and you just forgot? Thank you. I was looking for you. So so to be I, I got this far and I got to a confessed achievement. But to be fair, I never rolled credits. I went to come back to do it and I had some save issues. <clears throat> <laughs> And so I was waiting. If you do, they not describe how, what, why this happens or how this happens. Like, what does he have amnesia or is he, it like PTSD things or what? No, I think they they tried to make it like he blocked it out of his mind a long time ago. <clears throat> he blocked it out of his mind and he just totally forgot. And you know the name Dal- 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 Dahlia. I have it written wrong in the notes. <laughs> Dahlia. Uh, none of this triggers him at all. None of this. Until they they realize Dahlia is also his mom's name. Yeah, I it's it kind of there was two things about this game that really annoyed me. I love the whole game. I love the story. I love figuring it all out. But that is a really hard thing yeah. to reconcile that it's like, oh, it was me all along. Oops, I forgot that I murdered my dad. Yeah, it's a far stretch for sure. And then, mm-hmm. yeah. And then the ending sort of um, the endings are not super satisfying. There's not. I mean, maybe there is, I guess, to me, the ending. I thought we were near the ending of this game when we figured out that this child killed the father. It wasn't her. She didn't have to carry that around anymore. And then at one point you give the watch. I I, I think you went through this part. Maybe you give the watch to the cop because yeah. what ha- what's happening is and I haven't mentioned it yet, but the cop's daughter is in cancer treatment and he he is not paid the health insurance. He's having a struggle with the bills. And so the reason why he's doing all of this is he's trying to get this very valuable pocket watch that you have that your dad owned and he wants it so he can sell it. And so what happens is you figure out what happened. It wasn't her. He believes you. And then she's like, hold on. And she goes and gets the pocket watch, gives it to the cop and he leaves. And it's like, this is the ending that I want. This is, this is the ending. And you actually think, We've done it. My wife and I were like high fiving. Yeah. We did it. Yeah, I was good. I thought loops. it was Oliver. Yeah, the, the loop happens and you're like, wait, what? This game's not over yet. And that is because you need to figure out that it was you who did it. Um, I wish there was a more satisfying ending. Um, you end up in these final two minutes. Did you do the final two minutes in the I don't room? think I, I did. So the last thing I did was the confessed one where okay. is where I find out it's you. I confess to everybody. I call the cops. I can. I don't know. I think I confess to everybody. And then he walks <laughs> out and she basically walks out. She's like, I'm done with you. Uh, and this is over. And I really thought, OK, you know, this is this. I mean, I did kill her dad. I don't think we're going to be friends anymore. Um, <laughs> you know, uh, Wait a minute, man. Right. Yeah. And so I thought here here it is. Let's roll, baby. And but nope, it looped right back around. And that's that's the last that's the last I played of it. I think that can be frustrating. Yeah. So there is this final two minutes. The game is called 12 minutes, but at 10 minutes is when the whole timeline ends. So there's this final two minutes where you are now in a room and you are talking to. This is really confusing to me. So spare me if I if I don't understand it. You are talking to her father. But her father looks like the cop that keeps coming to kill you in the room. And it's Willem Dafoe because you can't mistake his voice. And it's very confusing because you're like, who am I talking to? Am I like we thought that the cop was actually her father. And I'm like, well, no, I mean, like she'd recognize her dad, like think, obviously yeah. not. But they're trying to do this like weird kind of like mind fuck thing, I guess, where it's like, no, oh, it's, I get it. it's I the get dad, it. but it looks like the cop. And he asks you some questions. And if you answer them a certain way, you'll get certain endings. Um, it's a little weird. But one of the key parts of this sequence is, do you know, like, you really you know when she pulls out that little Zodiac book? Yeah. yeah that yeah. she reads she pulled, on the couch. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If you interact with her enough, you'll read the book. I think before if you read the book before she gets to it, you can, like, read a line out of it or something like that. Yeah. If you've done that, then in this final two minutes – when the father's talking to you, you're supposed to go behind yourself, go to the bookshelf, get the book and quote from the book. And that will get you an ending. But if you don't do that, you're not going to get the ending that you want. Um, it's really subtle. But here's something interesting. If you restart the game from scratch. Um, when and when you walk off the elevator, there's like a plant near the door. There's two doors and there's paintings. There's a painting One, with a red book. Yes, there is a yeah. painting with a red book. That is the clue for the final. You you would never even connect it, really. I mean, we, we remembered it when we saw it. Yeah. Uh, but that's a clue for the ending to go to the bookshelf with the red book. 
Um, The other thing that's interesting is the neighbor on your left has a baby. um, So that's a clue. And then I think the neighbor on the right, that it's empty. And I think that alludes to the fact that there is an ending um, where you go to your apartment and there's nothing in there. All the furniture is gone. There is literally nothing in there. Bedroom, everything empty except for the watch. Um, You Mm -hmm. can find the watch. Um, But I was stuck. I had no idea what to do. We had to eventually look this up because it's like we've tried everything in this apartment. There's nothing there. There's no knife. There's nothing. And it turns out if you take the watch and just move the hands back up to the 12, it will put you in that last two minutes again. No, no. You have to move the hands to the 10 and it'll put you in those last two minutes. I couldn't I did not even think of that as an option. Yeah. Um, But yeah, I mean, and that's basically it there's there's probably some side stuff we haven't seen um you know we kind of talked about like how some of the things change or whatever but this game was just downright fascinating it's funny um Mm -hmm. all these little things you can do there's so many little details um you can use his phone to call people you can use your phone to call people um interactions with his daughter um are pretty pretty interesting how you talk to her oh Um, do you ever find his phone that's yeah. the other phone you can call. His is, phone, his phone is on him. When you, if you knock him out, you can take his phone. No, 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 no. I mean oh. your phone. Sorry, your phone. Oh, I'm, your yeah. You don't have a phone. Okay, because um, one of the things you can do is call you, and it goes to voicemail. Does it? Did I try that? I. I'm fairly certain because I remember I being I like, well, I can call myself. Yeah. Why, I where think is my right. phone at? Yeah. Because if you look through the text messages on her phone, it's four. There's like four texts to you. Yeah. I'm not sure if I ever tried to call myself or it was just an option that didn't show up afterwards. But yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Call, I called myself you. multiple times because I really thought maybe my phone was somewhere in the apartment and I could find <laughs> it and it would be a clue. Yeah. Why so, wouldn't you have it? Yeah, exactly. That's what I was like. It's got to be here somewhere. Got to be there. Um. Yeah, I just I mean, I just going into final thoughts here. um, I absolutely love this game and it's not a long game. Um, You can make it longer just depending on when you get your ending or whatever. I know Jesse was having some trouble. There is definitely some moon logic here that I'm kind of proud that we found. But it took loop after loop after loop. And you just kind of start doing silly things. Like I said, I'm just going to kill my wife or I'm just going to kill this guy. Um, and there's just, there's so much to it. Things you can do with the knife. Like the, the, when I, when I use the knife to undo the screws on the vents, even though it, I didn't find the watch, but it was just like, wow, there's so many little details here yeah. and things you can do. Um, there was times if you talk to your wife and then go into the closet, she like notices, like, you know, she's like, <laughs> yeah. are you going to get out of there? Like what's yeah. going on? And if she finds um, you and you go in the closet and then the guy comes in, she rats you out. The witch of a wife. I tell you, come <laughs> on. I mean, like, geez. <laughs> yeah, there's such great little details to this game. It's it's hilarious. Um, even if you go out the window, there is a reference to the game Heavy Rain. Um, oh. I think there's a couple references to it, but like he will notice it and he says it's a heavy rain. And it's just like a total reference to the uh, the PS the PS3 game, yeah, yeah. Uh, which is all story based, too. It's just it's just a great time. And even if you don't even like finish this game, just playing through some loops and learning some new information and stuff. It's just amazing the discovery on this. And uh, and now I'm tempted to like go back into it, even if you do a few loops and just do the stupidest stuff. I was um, at one point of the game. I was stuck and I was like, you know what? I'm going to grab the desserts out of the the fridge and I'm going to try to like feed it to the guy after he wakes up after I knock him out. I'm going to like see what I can do. You know, just like stupid show him you're a hospitable dude. <laughs> yeah. Here, have a strawberry. Go away. Um, that's what I'd take away from this. And I mean, if I had to rate the game on a scale of like one to ten, I'd put it at a nine. Um, I, I love games of this length. They're not, you know, 80 hours long. Uh, this, it's so interesting. And and like Daisy Ridley is sort of unrecognizable, um, you know, when she's talking like you have mm-hmm. to you have to point out that it's Daisy Ridley. Yeah. Um. Obviously, Willem Dafoe, you can totally and everyone does a really good job. There was a few times where the your voice seemed out of hand, like like you walk into the apartment and you talk to her and you're like, 
I'm in a time loop. You have to understand. And it's like, (laughs) it's like, it's like, I don't know if the voice direction on that was as good. She never seems like she's out of place. Uh, The cop never does. But sometimes Mm -hmm. your character does seem like he's just starting in mid conversation somewhere. Um, One day, one day, I just want to go to my wife and go, I'm stuck in a time loop. (laughs) Yeah. yeah. (laughs) Here's a a shirt. Here's a present and a pocket watch. Believe me now. (laughs) (laughs) Um, What were your final thoughts on the game? I, 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 I want to second everything you said. There's no reason for me to repeat it. I will say without the internet, this game would be horribly front and the grinding to get there like i was done like when i got that confessed ending and it didn't roll credits i was a little like (sighs) you know like (laughs) and then you said you kind of gave me my like my out i was like all right if john's using a a thing i'm gonna go use a thing too because i am done i do not want to guess on what i gotta do next like i just (laughs) i just felt like it was like i wanted that to be the ending and i was like okay and so, yeah, um, that would be my only and it's not really a, a downside on it, but it is just like it can feel like a grind. And the problem is the story is so good. You feel you you want to keep doing that grind, even though there's part of you that's like, I want to be done, you know. Right. And so but you really want to find that ending. So, yeah. 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 Like there are times when you do a loop and you like have a million ideas in your head for what to do next. And that's when the game's at its best. You're like, OK. Yep. Yeah. Here's what I'm going to try. You're like your creativity really kicks in. Mm-hmm. But like you mentioned, when you think the game is over and then it's not and you have zero idea what to do. Um, I will add to that that after we show the Dahlia shirt to the cop and then we ended up with a bad ending. And I was like, what? So we kind of replayed it. And then I go to the cop and I go, OK, because this is what you do a lot in the game. You do a lot of the same thing and you yeah. continue. And I go, OK, copper, here's the Dahlia shirt. And he fucking murdered me. <laughs> I was just like, wait, what? <laughs> Like this led to the ending before, but now it now it's my death. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's so great, though. What a great little mm. sandbox game. It to is. Play. Yeah. It's a lot uh, of fun. Yeah. Just wonderful. All right. That was fun. I really enjoyed that. We can I did too. Be Thanks for having it. me on, man. I appreciate it. <laughs> All right. That's going to wrap us up. Thank you. Special guest, Nick Tendo. Um, everyone go listen to Game Pass News. He is solo this week. You can hear some solo, <laughs> yeah. Nick. and uh, take us away Sadie the Dads After Dark show is a part of the Nintendo Dads family of podcasts you can subscribe to us anywhere podcasts are available including iTunes, Google Play, Spotify and Stitcher be sure to join us on the Nintendo Dads Discord in the Dads After Dark show channel for some naughty After Dark talk follow us on Twitter at NDadsAfterDark Ask us a question, and we may answer it on the show. That's all for tonight. Good night, dads. Sweet dreams.